Paint Life TV, got journeyman John with me today. Today we've got another project. Um, it's an iron fence back here, decorative iron fence at the entrance of this house. And don't mind all the cotton flying around, that's the cottonwood trees. Um, today, we're gonna show you what it looks like painting that and how we go about doing it. In the years past, we used to use an airless sprayer, which was a big pain in the neck. Yes. It used a whole lot more product. About how much more product than an HVLP sprayer? Oh, about 300% more product. About 300%, that's a good estimate. And they had a whole lot of overspray. We had to worry about plants. We had to worry about, you know, um, concrete, the ground, everything. And we used to just use drop cloths. You know, somebody would stand behind there with a 210 tip and spray it. And the drop cloths would just get ruined. It was the big mess and you would breathe, you know, product all day long. About two to three years ago, we started using the HVLP sprayer and it's made our life a whole lot easier. Yeah. So um, today, what have we got? We've got a Titan Cap Spray 105 today. One of these bad boys. And we usually use a 115, but we're um, testing out the 105 today. And we, we've noticed that um, you've got to release the trigger a little bit more. Yeah, so when it comes to whether, uh, what kind of turbine, I guess, that you're looking at getting, one of the big differences between like a 115 and something like a 105 is the amount of turbines actually in the unit and therefore the amount of air that it can push. So a 115 I know is a six stage turbine. I can't remember for sure, but I think a 105 is either a four or a five stage. So you're getting less air. It can still, it can still push acrylic product through your HVLP. You're just going to have to give it more time to keep filling that cup up and you're gonna notice you're gonna lose some of your pressure a lot faster. Not a big deal. We, um, we've already been spraying some of it. We've been working around it and it's been working just fine. Here's our setup. This is our setup typically now that we use for almost everything with an HVLP sprayer. Mm -hmm. Remote pot, we got a remote pot right here. This is um, Titan's cap spray remote pot and you can hold more product. That's one of the benefits versus a cup gun. So you could have the cup attached on here, but the other benefit is you can spray upside down now. Yes. And that's a big benefit, especially when doing these iron fences, if they go all the way down to the ground, because now you can you know, reach, get underneath the fence, and you don't have to worry about sucking air. So here's the system. John usually just has this thing hooked onto his belt. I usually just hook it to my pocket, and there you go. You do have to thin the product though, and mm -hmm. How much are we thin in our product today? So today we're using Sherwin-Williams multi-surface acrylic from their Pro Industrial line. That product, in order to get it to run through an HVLP, we reduce it 25% with, uh, with latex extender. Uh, you could thin it with water. I always feel better just using extender. I feel like it degrades the product a little bit less and that's going to allow it to flow through the HVLP without getting that gummy kind of cottage cheese egg shelly look coming out. 25%, 2.5. So we're using the multi-surface acrylic, which we've um, uh, become accustomed to using because it's a great product. It's amazing. Uh, it was, it's amazing. It was designed for surfaces, um, buildings and stuff where you hide reach, where you can't clean them thoroughly and the stuff will just stick to anything, dirt and all. They've even done testing, it'll stick to WD-40, we've been told. Yeah. So um, we really like it. It performs really, really well. On this iron fence, we don't have any rusting issues, so we don't have to deal with rust. So the multi-surface acrylic's gonna go right on top of the surface that we got right now, no primer needed. So we're gonna set this thing up. It's very simple. We got a little bit of masking. This thing has very, very little overspray. You can dial your pattern into a very, very small pattern where an airless sprayer, the smallest pattern, even with on a 110, is gonna be significantly bigger than this and significantly more overspray. We're not gonna have to worry about plants. We're not gonna have to worry about you know the concrete, the ground, it's all safe. No overspray is gonna get on it. It just shoots a little fine mist. So here we go. Let's show you what it looks like right now. So the benefit, like Chris said, to an HVLP gun is the ability to adjust that pattern down as tight as you want it and with as much material coming out depending on what you're spraying. So right now I've got this set all the way off and we're gonna go through the process with Zach and he's gonna go through figuring out how big of a pattern, how much air and how much material because those are all things that are going to vary depending on the product you're using and the thing you're spraying. You ready? Aha, all right. Ready. So the, the settings that we have on this Maxim Elite gun is down here you're going to have your material setting. So basically it's going to change as how far back you can pull that trigger. 
this is going to control your air setting and then up here your nozzle you have two settings you can de you can decide how big you want your fan by twisting and untwisting this black ring on the nozzle and then you can change what your fan looks like with the I, I can't remember what it's called I think it's an air cap coming off the front and you can create a fan that's uh, vertical horizontal or if you switch it diagonal it'll give you an oval pattern so what kind of pattern do we want Zach um, I think we should go with the oval pattern let's go with an oval pattern good suggestion I'm gonna turn it on ready or a good guess We're all done painting our iron fans and it's time to clean up now so any final thoughts do you have to wrap this up john we got zach spraying um and he sprayed this whole thing got all the iron fans everywhere i don't know it's been an hour a couple hours two yeah, hours probably, probably two hours at the most so. two hours at the most spraying all this fencing so yeah there you go um, you know one of the stories that we tell over and over again is about a big pool fence that we did that uh, it ended up taking 14 gallons of DTM to try to spray that with an airless sprayer. If we were to do the same job with an HVLP, it would take three gallons instead of 14 gallons. So yep. this is the kind of a tool that for a job like this can really save you some money and a lot of time. Yep, and it'll save you with headaches of overspray too. And notice in the video, you're probably gonna see um, a lot of like what we call vapor in the air and stuff. It's gonna look like overspray, but None of the stuff, none of the plants were covered in stuff as when we inspected plants, you know, closely, um, you know, even a foot away, there was no overspray on the plants at all. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not a concern for overspray when you're using an HVLP sprayer, HVLP sprayer. But what you're seeing up in the air is just water vapor. And if there is any atomized, you know, um, paint that gets up in the air, it flash dries extremely fast. And when it lands on the surface, it's just dust. Mm -hmm. And the dust would just sweep away. Yeah. So there you have it, um, some tips and tricks, painting an iron fence. One thing about the uh, painting I wanna just say real quick too, is when you're spraying it, if you're in the sun, in the heat, it's ideal to do it you know, in the cool of the morning, in the shade, so it gels out so you don't get flashing on the fence, but you just gotta try to you know, spray and watch it, watch it over overlaps, watch it gel out so you don't get any flashing. But once again, in the evening time, in the morning time is probably a good idea when to do it. So you can't always do that. So there's another freebie. Anyways, anything else, John? Is you that it? Clean up some breeze. We're just gonna run, uh, we're gonna empty the product out. We're gonna rinse out the inside of the cup with a hose. We're gonna fill it with water, shake it around, run some of that water out, dump it out, and we're gonna be good to go. This Christ, <laughs> Christ. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that guy didn't work out too well. 
Um, it, my name is Chris, trust me. Yeah. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Some tips and tricks painting iron fences or you know iron work with a multi-surface acrylic and a Titan HVLP sprayer or any HVLP sprayer for that matter. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time we go live or we come out with a new video. Like we always say, we'll see you on our next video. Out.